President Obama joins leaders from around the world for a key conference on climate change. Leaders from 150 nations are meeting in Paris under tight security. They're looking for ways to find countries to come together for a deal to slow the growth of carbon emissions. The goal is to control the impact of climate change. The meetings are expected to last for several days. And at the same time, several key Austin leaders, including Mayor Steve Adler, will attend a summit for city leaders around the world, also in Paris. They hope to learn from other cities, but KXAN's Phil Prezen reports how they'll already have a lot to brag about at a conference on climate change. You've never driven an electric car? Dale Beulah. Man, you, you need to get with the program. Hopes to lead by example. He's been on to the electric car for years. Just plug it in. To lower his carbon footprint. You have a clothes dryer in your house. You've got the same power that we have here. And the city helps pay for that in-home charger. You're supposed to be able to go to about 100 miles on a charge. And if you run the air conditioning, you get a little bit less. If you run the heat, you get a little bit less. Behind his home, where he lives with his wife, Pat, he's collected rain from this wet fall. So they've been full recently, though? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> Take a look. Yes. Once again, the city gives rebates for rain collection. But the next major battle is to encourage other cities to do the same thing. Part of the conference? Mayor Adler says one thing they can do is prove it can be done. Austin has been a city that has always led by example. We're a, we're a city of innovation. We're a city of early adopters. Early adapters like Beulah. With the city's help, he put up solar panels. And just a few years later, the neighbors have caught on. This is the future. The future is people storing energy when it's being made and then using it when they need it. He says most of the work is on the front end. Then you reap the benefits. But why do you get started? By us lowering our carbon footprint, we think we're going to leave the earth a better place for future generations. Generations, Beulah believes, with already a lot on their shoulders. Phil Prezen, KXAN News. Mayor Adler says about half of what Austinites throw away could be recycled. In Paris, he hopes to get tips on how to encourage people to compost. One thing that helps Austin stand out is its incentive program to encourage people to use clean energy. Austin Energy will pay up to $1,500 for an in-home charger for an electric car. The city also paid to install car charging stations at 100 locations around town. Drivers can use them for $5 a month. And the city offers loans of up to $20,000 to install solar panels on your home.